Oh, yes. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends controller build a figure wave, Madam Hydra, aka Viper, aka Ophelia Sarkissian. This is a pretty long and storied character. Not a super famous one, but she is a recurring nemesis to characters like Captain America. Uh, she's got this real love hate relationship with Spider Woman. And she's somebody who's kind of changed roles and aliases several times. But she's most famously known for her affiliation with Hydra. And during, you know, some points in history, she ends up taking control of them and adopting the moniker Madam Hydra, because she's their leader. That being said, if you've seen my reviews before, you know how this goes. We're gonna take a look at Madam Hydra's packaging, then we'll put it up. We'll get a quick look at the build a figure piece, which in this case is the right leg of the controller. Then we'll get a really good look at Madam Hydra herself. We'll check out her posability, her accessories. Naturally, I'll be doing some group shots comparisons today. And then at the end of the video, I'll give my final thoughts. So Madam Hydra comes in your standard Marvel Legends packaging. You get your controller call out up here. If you look on the top, you get the Hydra symbol, which is a very eerie thing to behold. Down here, you get her name, Madam Hydra. And then we see the figure inside the window. She comes equipped with uh, trigger finger hands, which is very appropriate because she has two little pistols here, which is not an accessory you see very often in Marvel Legends figures, but you know, she is a very accomplished marksman and doesn't really have superpowers per se, so she's gotta fight somehow. She has made herself immune to most toxins and has like hollowed out fangs that she can inject poison with, so. Or she's almost like a Poison Ivy character. She can do it through her lipstick too. All right, then we see some closed fists just for variety. And then your bath piece down here. Look to the side, we get some really nice artwork of Ophelia looking very just pleased with herself. Presumably this is after she took control of Hydra. Get the same artwork on the back, just a different angle. You can see the Hydra symbol on the wall in the background. You see her two guns holstered. Some really nice artwork. Honestly, I prefer how they drew her face here to how the actual sculpt looks just a little better looking in my opinion. All right, over here, we get her name, we get her flavor text, and that reads, the woman once known as Viper assumes the command of Hydra, taking the title of Madam Hydra and turning the organization into her personal army. So, I mean, that's a thing that happens at one point, and I guess that's a fitting description because they are calling the character Madam Hydra in this instance. So, yeah, I'll go with it. Uh, down here, we get our controller render, and then we get our cross sales. We get Iron Man, Thor, Blue Marvel, Madam Hydra, Speedball, Quake, and U.S. Agent. So, quite the roster of characters. All comic book based, which I'm sure there's a lot of fans that are very happy about that. All right, so that's the packaging. It's pretty cool. It's your standard stuff. I do like the artwork. I think it's a really nice piece of artwork. Very good line art, very good colors. Now it's time to go ahead and open this thing up. Right now we get Madam Hydra out of the packaging. So first let's take a look at this right leg of the controller. Just like the left one, obviously it's got a double knee joint. It's got the port for your eventual thigh swivel. And then it has your universal ankle. Now luckily, unlike the other leg, this ankle joint is not super, super tight to the point where I'm afraid it's gonna break. It actually moves pretty smoothly, but it's not loose. So QC is just much better on this leg than the other one that I have. Then we can see Madam Hydra herself here. She, like Blue Marvel before her, is on a pretty not great buck. So the head has your ball joint and hinge combo, though you don't get a lot of use out of either of those really because her big hair is just completely in the way. It's got universal shoulders. She does have arms that I wouldn't say are uniquely sculpted, but at least are a special sculpt where you got the little like cuff of her little arm sleeves like going around it there so it's not just painted on. She does have these single bent elbows with the swivel there, which is not something I'm crazy about. She's got, you know, her two trigger finger hands and the one on the right actually hinges up and down instead of in and out like this one. She's got the ball joint in the upper torso. She has your universal hips that don't splay out very far. A little better than Blue Marvel's, but not by much. She's got thigh swivel. She's got double bent knees. And then she's got your universal ankles. And the knees specifically are like those really soft rubbery joints that tend to cause the legs to like bow in and out. See how much give that has right there? I mean, look at that, that's awful. So like over time, her legs are probably just gonna deform from gravity. I, I don't know why they keep using this stuff. Like everybody knows it's bad. 
they've acknowledged that like people don't like these particular bucks or those types of joints, but they keep using them on a 2022 figure. You know what I mean? Like this has been a problem for a while and they keep reusing these old body types. I don't get it. They've designed plenty of new ones. Why they keep going back to these old ones and using these inferior materials is totally beyond me. I, I don't get it. So I will say overall, she looks pretty good. I think the legs look a little weird. Like they're almost too scrawny compared to like the very upper thigh part and the rest of her body. And the weird like bendy knees just make her look kind of awkward the way she's standing. So again, a figure that normally would be pretty good is just kind of ruined by a bad buck. So I don't know. Make that what you will. All right, we got our two pistols here, both the same piece. They have like a like, nice uh, long silencer on them. And the holsters, not the holsters, the grips are actually done up in like a snakeskin pattern, which is very fitting. Now, the actual holsters right here, they are very well done. They have a nice little gold like button on them, little clasp. And then they have a gold hider symbol just tampoed on there, which is very fitting. So they can just hold the guns just like this. They just slide right in there and they stand there pretty well. So that's pretty cool or you can have her wield them. I have to work them in and everything because you got like the trigger guard to get past, but should be able to get this gun in there to where her finger rests inside the trigger guard just like that. And luckily it's not too much of a struggle. Some figure it's really hard to get them to wield their guns. She doesn't seem to be too bad. Just kind of work it in there. Uh, be careful not to bend this barrel or silencer because it's very, very soft plastic. Could end up like putting a crease in it, breaking it off. All right, so not too bad, right? She holds these pretty well. And you can get some nice little fun poses of her, just dual wielding her little pew pews here and doing secret agent-y kind of stuff. And this is how I imagine most people will probably end up displaying her. Or we could go for an alternative look and just give her some closed fists. Put those in there and just give her kind of a more normal bit of posing where maybe she's you know yelling at somebody one of her henchmen or something oh, might help if i don't have her wrist in some unnatural position <laughs> there you go so looks pretty good you know she looks like she's commanding her minions around or something to that effect and here's a fun group shot of madam hydra a long time her on again off again bodyguard the silver samurai I'd love to do a more fleshed out group shot with Madam Hydra being able to control some, you know, generic Hydra troops, but unfortunately I just don't own any. They're one of the army builders I have yet to actually obtain, so this one's just going to be a little more personal. These two have quite the history together, and despite having his own ambitions to rule a criminal empire, he does tend to do bodyguard work for Viper here, so I felt he'd be a very fitting character to use in a group shot. And, you know, he really works as a bodyguard because he is such a tall, imposing character. Viper is an incredibly skilled combatant, and she can really hold her own in a fight. But it's still always good to get some muscle behind you, just in case things don't go your way and you need a hasty retreat. And this guy's like a walking tank, so he is definitely somebody you're going to want to throw between yourself and whoever's coming after you. Plus, he's just a really cool figure, so any, you know, excuse to give him a group shot is <laughs> something I'm always going to take advantage of. And this completes our look at the new Madam Hydra, a.k.a. Viper. I'm not going to say this is an amazing figure, right? She's very generic. She comes on a pretty substandard buck. And aside from having, like, a dual holster and pistols, I mean, she doesn't really do anything special. So it's a good character to get. I think this is her first figure in Legends, or at least, like, modern uh, Hasbro Legends. And she's okay, like she's comic book accurate, the head sculpt is nice. Uh, the hair gets in the way of posing a little bit, and maybe like an alternate head would have been pretty cool. I will say the pistols are nice, they're well detailed. Uh, the custom pistol grips are a nice touch there with like the snake skin pattern. And she's okay, you know, she's one of those important characters you want to get if you have any sort of a, you know, Team Hydra display. So, again, nothing mind-blowing here. She could have been a lot better, especially if she's on one of the newer bucks, but she's fine. Not a highlight of the wave, but not a 
bad figure by any means. Like, she's functionally sound, she looks the part. So, yeah, uh, nothing amazing, you know, nothing like the Harold Thor, but important enough of a character to where you're probably gonna want to pick her up for your comic book display. Of course, that is how I feel about Madame Hydra. Now I want to know what you all think of this figure. Is she a character that you've been waiting on? Like, have you been anticipating a Viper or a Madame Hydra toy? And then, if you have, like, did this fulfill your expectations? Or do you not like this? Either you don't care for the character, or you think, you know, the figure is weak in some way. Any and all feedback is always welcome in the comment section. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to toss it a like. Let YouTube know you want to see more stuff like this. If you do want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you always get a heads up when I post something new. And thank you for joining me for this look at the brand new Marvel Legends Controller Build-A-Figure Wave, Madam Hydra. And with all that said, I will see you next time.